Hey there, comic fam. Welcome back to Climbing Comics. In today's sesh, we'll be chatting about my first comic original art piece. Hey there again, comic fam. Welcome back to Climbing Comics. In today's sesh, I'll be going over how I obtained my original, my first original art piece. Um, so shout out to Master Blaster, who was one of my uh, one of my, you know, friends in this comic book community that um, kind of got me into really liking original art pieces. So I actually got this first piece before before I met him. But after seeing all the pieces that he has, I was definitely inspired to look into into more. So the story about how I got my first original art piece. I guess about six months ago when a lot of us were, were at, at home, stuck, stuck at home. So I was on Instagram and one of my favorite artists this past year has been Pepe La Raz. So Pepe La Raz has been drawing um, for the X-Men books. So um, House and Powers of Ten and um, a lot of the Dawn of X books. So him and Jonathan Hickman have been doing a great job with those storylines. So I followed him on Instagram because I really like his art. One of his stories on Instagram kind of displayed another artist's work. And then he kind of congratulated him for his work. And I ended up finding out it was um, this guy named um, Alvaro Martinez Bueno. So the art piece that he was showing was this uh, Batwoman piece. She was kind of crouched over a little bit like Spider-Man, but like on this tightrope. The colors were amazing. How his drawn was amazing. So I ended up following Al Alvaro um, and ended up figuring out that, hey, this guy actually draws for Justice League Dark. And as many of you know, I've been following Justice League Dark for for since I restarted collecting. So I had like this was the first time I kind of put two and two together. Um, I ended up finding out both of them are are from Spain, right? So Alvaro is in uh, San Sebastian, and um, and I, I know that uh, Pepe Larraz is is also somewhere in in Spain right now. So they're doing a lot of work for both Marvel and DC. Um, what was really cool is that I reached out on Instagram. I messaged Al Alvaro about like his work, and I kind of congratulated him on his work, and then so. I asked him, oh, are you selling any any like artwork? So he sent me a link to his website. I looked at his website and I actually found a couple pieces of uh, reprints of a couple pages or covers that he did for Justice League Dark. And uh, I'll, I'll show them here. But soon after, after I received them, I messaged him and I was like, hey, are you selling any of your original art pieces? So the original art piece is essentially like... Um, a penciler's actual page. It's an oversized page of what they're actually drawing for for the comic book. Um, they put that in there. It gets sent to the inker and the letterer, but letterers now can be done digitally. I'll go over this in a, in a future video. But he actually owns the, the, the original piece of pencil work that he did. So I asked him if he was selling that. Unfortunately, at this time, he was not. Um, but he said, stay tuned, um, reach back in a couple months, and then he'll be setting something up. So it was, it was pretty cool. So he reached out to me a couple, week, uh, a couple months later, and he said, hey, I'm going to start selling these. Come take a look. So he sends me a link. I take a look at all of the pages that he's doing. At first, I'm like, okay, maybe I should not get an original art piece because at this time I was like heavily collecting my 2020 goals and I was like, all right, let's pause on this. After after a week, I saw that the, one of the pieces that I wanted was gone. So I asked them, oh, if by chance this um, purchase falls through with your other customer, please let me know. Because there are a couple of criteria that I wanted to look into when I was um, trying to purchase a piece of art. First, I wanted to make sure all my favorite characters were on there, right? So this is Atana, this is John Constantine, um, this is uh, Detective Chimp, Swamp Thing, um, Dead Man. All I wanted all of them on there, essentially. But I also like the fact that um, in Justice League Dark, it's, it's very mystical and it's, it's kind of psychedelic in a way 
because there are some pictures that kind of are like warped and kind of they're going through different dimensions. So a lot of the artists, well, Alvaro could could really play with with his artistic talents and kind of do different things, right? So I saw this piece and I was I was like really excited about this piece because one of my favorite artists is actually MC Escher. So MC Escher does a lot of um, kind of this weird trippy art, but then there's also patterns. There's also like, um, it's very mathematical, right? So he has this, he has this piece of art called um, hand, with, um, hand with a Reflecting Sphere, right? So it's as if he's holding a sphere and it's like kind of like the shiny ball and then it's kind of reflecting everything around it. But since it's a sphere, everything's warped a little bit, right? So there's this one page that kind of had this same effect that um, that MC Escher piece had. So I actually emailed Alvaro about this hand with the reflecting sphere, and he replied back saying that it was one of his inspirations for, for, that, um, for that page. So that was pretty cool. Um, I also asked him about, so he has this cover where there's these staircases kind of going up and down, left and right, and kind of inverted, and people walking up and down on both sides of the stairs. So that really reminded me of that um, relativity. So that that's a pretty popular picture of MC Escher. And um, I asked him about that as well, and he said that, yeah, it, it definitely was some inspiration to, to this. So kind of seeing art, artistic work that I liked before, to, w to see it on the pages now has been pretty cool. And then so, I was like, hey, Alvaro, do you still have this piece? And he emailed me back. He's like, oh, I actually um, marked it incorrectly. This piece is still available. I was like, please send it over. And then he asked me, um, do, do I want him to remark it with any, like, anything on the bottom, any note? So I asked him something very random. Not very random if, if you're a Zatanna fan, but... Um, she usually says spells backwards, right? So if she wants to do a spell, like if you if you read the text, it's um, what she wants to do, but kind of said backwards. So I asked him if he could write whatever he wants to, but just do it in this reverse style way, in this backwards spell. So he did, and um, he sent it to me, and I will be showing you that piece of art. So I'm going to put on my gloves one second. I was... Uh, yeah, this was this was really cool. So first, I'll probably show you. Um, I'll put a picture up as well. This is from Justice League Dark issue number four, and it's page two. So I'll show you the actual page from the comic book first. It's pretty cool. So let's see if I could get this right. So it is this page right here. You could see that. And I'll put a picture up of it. But here is the original art piece. It's an 11 by 17 piece right here. You can see there's a ton on the bottom. And in the middle, it's as if they're walking through this uh, warp, uh, like kind of warp hole. So you see that um, Wonder Woman is actually, her image is warped. And on the top, you see Man Bat. You see Wonder Woman, Zatanna, Dead Man, Detective Chimp, John Constantine, and um, the thing on top. So it's actually a really, really cool piece. So this will be going either in a... This will be going in... I'm going to frame it. So I'm going to frame it, and I'm going to probably get another copy of Justice League Dark number four. Or, yeah, and have that be part of the piece itself as well. So what this this whole time kind of during um, being at home has been really opening up new avenues to to talk to creators, artists. So whole Justice League Dark um, written by uh, James Tinian the fourth and um, with pencils by Alvaro. Man, so Alvaro ended his run on Justice League Dark in issue number 22 because I think he's moving over to other DC books right now. But I'm really glad I was able to get this page. I'll, I'll go over um, kind of the details about it later. But on the bottom, it says, uh, thank you, Alan, in, like backwards. I'll, I'll, I'll show a picture of it. 
and I was, and he signed it uh, in his pencil. It's really cool. So I think one of the things that kind of added to liking comic books and liking art is like the this appreciation that I have now for artists themselves, right? So the pencilers, the inkers, the letterers, the um, just the creators, like um, the authors of these books. So having this kind of makes me appreciate comics a lot more. Um, there's so much work that has to be done on this page. When I received it, I sat there and I would just I would just stare at this at this piece. I, I keep glancing at it right now. It's it's such an awesome piece. Seeing the the amount of work that goes into making this type of content, especially because it takes a whole team to to make a book and to make a book good. So I think this may not be my last piece of original art. Um, I do still want to get a piece by Pepe Larraz himself. It's hard to find, um, as well as some of the probably um, X-Men and Spider-Man. These are very unique um, in terms of there's only one of them. And um, I think being able to talk to these creators and artists has been really fun because, you know, we I kind of see them as celebrities. So kind of to be able to talk to them like really humanizes them and kind of brings the community kind of closer together. So thank you to Master Blaster for really inspiring me to to make this video about my first piece of original art. This will not be my last. So definitely please like and subscribe and let me know what original art you have or you want or yeah, just anything about artists or, or creators that um, or tidbits that you want to let me know about. So please put that down in the in the comment section below. So I guess how I want to end this is uh, from my comic journey to yours. Collect what you love. Thanks all. Bye. <laughs>